Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at cavernous sinus contents and also cavernous sinus syndrome. So first, cavernous, cavernous sinus contents. So in this diagram here, shown in blue, is the cavernous sinus. And then the contents, they are arteries and also nerves in here. There's the internal carotid artery and also the cranial nerves. Cranial nerves specifically, cranial nerves 3, 4, 5 and 6. For 5, there are three branches, V1, V2, V3, but the the nerves that the branches that actually pass through the cavernous sinus is only V1 and V2. So remember 3, 4, 5, 1, 5, 2, and 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. So cranial nerve 3 is oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve 4 is trochlear nerve, and cranial nerve 6 is abducens nerve. These three nerves uh, control, uh, innovate the extra ocular muscles of the eye. So it allows you to look to the left, look to the right without moving your head. Look up, look down, look diagonally up, things like that. So if um, these are damaged, uh, you have ophthalmoplegia, which is abnormalities in the movement of the eye. We'll talk about it uh, when we talk about cavernous sinus syndrome. Right. Um, so in cavernous sinus syndrome, uh, is when it's a set of symptoms. So syndrome is a set of symptoms uh, when the cavernous sinus is affected. So uh, for example, where one of the conditions where you can get cavernous sinus syndrome is uh, in nasopharyngeal carcinoma, when it spreads upwards, it will invade the cavernous sinus. So all the structures here will be affected. So what are the symptoms? You can think of it uh, in terms of uh, the structures in the cavernous sinus. So firstly, the cavernous sinus, the veins here, the ones colored in blue, drains the superior and inferior ophthalmic veins which drains blood away from the eyes. So if the tumor, uh, if the cancer tumor grows uh, and invades this area over here, it actually occludes the drainage of the eye, drainage of blood in the eye, and it will cause, cause proptosis, which is protrusion of the eye. Um, next, uh, you can think of it in terms of the nerves. So, as I mentioned just now, uh, 3, 4, and 6. Cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6 are responsible for extraocular movements. So, uh, your movement of the eyeballs will be affected, known as ophthalmoplegia. And then, um, for cranial nerve 3, Extraocular motor movements is not the only function. They have, the cranial nerve tree has two other functions, which is that it innervates the superior palpebral muscles, known, uh, also known as levator palpebrae superioris, which is uh, responsible for lifting up your eyelids to keep your eyes open. So in cavernous sinus syndrome, if the cranial nerve tree is affected, uh, you will have uh, ptosis. And in this case, it's not partial ptosis, but it's a complete ptosis. The other function of cranial nerve tree um, is the pupillary constrictors. So if cranial nerve tree is affected, you also see that the pupil is one of the pupils. If one side is affected, one of the pupils will be dilated, and it doesn't uh, respond to light. So usually, when you shine light into the eyes, the pupils will constrict to uh, prevent so much light from entering the eye. But in this case, uh, that pupillary reflex is not working, so the pupil remains large. So, okay, so 3, 4, and 6 is uh, extraocular mus uh, muscles affected, so movement of the eyeball is affected. 
Then cranial nerve 3, uh, other two functions are lifting the eyelid and also uh, constricting the pupils. So these two will be also be affected if the third nerve is affected. So these are all part of cranial nerve syndrome. Uh, one nerve that we didn't talk about is uh, the trigeminal nerve, cranial nerve 5, which has their V1 and V2 branches in the cavernous sinus. So one way to test if the V1 is affected or trigeminal nerve is affected is by doing a corneal reflex where uh, you gently put a cotton wool to irritate the eye and then uh, the normal reflex would be to blink but in patients with a lesion to the trigeminal nerve, the fifth nerve, fifth cranial nerve, um, that reflex will be absent so they won't blink in response to that cotton wool touching the eye. Right. And I think that's all I have for cranial nerve syndrome. Right. Thank you for watching and bye bye.